Good day everyone. I was recently thinking about changing my introduction music, that sort of short little um, spacey sample that I've got, uh, which you would have just seen about two seconds ago. Um, and then I thought, sort of thought to myself, well, a lot of people ask me how I actually do that um, sound, what sort of effects that I do and how I have them set, I guess, is what the, the information that people are after. So I thought I'd just do a little uh, video on how to do that. And um, it's not as complicated as what you see in front of you. Uh, when I originally did it, I used a tremolo, a delay, and a chorus, and that's pretty much all I used. This one's going to sound a little bit, uh, I reckon it sounds better, the way I've got it set here, um, than I originally did it, because obviously time's moved on and I've refined it a bit better. Um, but you don't need all those things. In fact, all you really need is a delay and a chorus. Um, and I'll show you what that sounds like on its own, and I'll also add this other extra extra padding and show you what that sounds like as well. There's two types of, um, of uh, that spacey sort of sound. One that's got a, um, an overdrive added and one that doesn't. And again, that's optional as well. The, the introduction uh, sample that I did has the overdrive in it. Um, and I'll show you what clean sounds like as well. Still sounds very good um, as a clean sample as well. So first I'm just gonna break down. First I'll show you how I've got it set at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure I've roughly set it correct, so I'll show you how it sounds like now. And it's set to clean now, and then I'll show you with the overdrive as well. And now with the overdrive, you don't need much overdrive, just a little bit. So you'd have to experiment with that overdrive. Um, that one sounded a bit sort of um, raspy. You sh uh, I think originally I used the um, the Bad Cat um, overdrive, which is much smoother. Um, but you can experiment, obviously, with that overdrive. Uh, so that's how the two different sounds uh, sound like when you put the overdrive and when you when you do it without. Now I'm just going to show you how I've set each of these um, effects up, just so you can get a a bit of an understanding of um, what sounds each one of these effects is doing. So let's first start with the delay and the tremolo um, because the delay and the tremolo are the ones that are doing most of the work. Uh, so let's start with those two. So first this is the delay. Sounds a bit strange. Um, that's actually the, the delay signal I use for swells. Doesn't matter if it sounds like that. Just as long as you've got a delay with a similar sort of um, uh, similar sort of speed. So that's the delay, and now the um, tremolo sounds like this. You can sort of start to see how that um, how the sounds piece together. So if we do them together, so it's sounding more like the original sample. Um, still doesn't sound quite right. I mean, it sounds pretty good, but um, doesn't sound quite as good as how I had it before. Um, so let's add some chorus. Um, to that, that, even though this pedal was on, um, the chorus was actually turned off, so um, yeah, it wasn't actually on. So let's add a bit of chorus. This adds a, a subtle improvement, I suppose you could say. Whenever I'm doing these spacey sort of sounds, I always add a slow subtle chorus, it kind of um, opens up the sound a bit. 
Um, best way I can describe it is it kind of just makes it a bit more... Um, uh, just makes this, the sounds more sort of stereo. This has actually got a stereo output too, this small clone. It's got the stereo output mod which helps with that as well. Um, so we're getting closer. Um, let's add the phaser and this should pretty much sound like the introduction except without the overdrive. So we're pretty much there. So the only last two things is the overdrive, which is optional, and um, the the um, prismatic reverb, which also adds just pretty much to the spaciness of um, how it sounds. So. Um, when you add the re uh, the reverb, it sounds like this. Makes it sound a lot deeper. Um, and um, yeah, finally you just add pretty much the overdrive. I'll just show you what these two, uh, the small clone, and the small stones sound like, because I didn't show you those separately, so let's just get rid of pretty much everything except for those. So this is the chorus. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of tune. Um, so that's off. And that's on. It's very subtle. I haven't turned that up much. I mean, you know, this thing can go a bit crazy if you want it to. So you don't need a hell of a lot of um, chorus. Well, I don't use a hell of a lot of chorus. And then the small stone sounds like this on its own. That's a pretty subtle effect um, for the small stone as well. So I hope that sort of breaks it down for you. I'm just going to show you this tremolo just once more, just so, because this is the one that's doing most of the um, most of the work. So that's it. That's a basic rundown of um, how I get that sort of sound um, and um, some of the options that you can do to uh, make it sound better or worse. Tremolo with a swirl sort of sound, uh, sorry, a swell um, is quite good um, when you do a really deep swell and it's really sort of choppy. Um, just make sure that it's kind of a similar sort of um, time as your delay, otherwise the delay is going to multiply the, um, the tremolo and um, it gets a little bit messy that way. You definitely do not need two, two delays for this either because um, uh, it, it gets just too messy. There's too many, um, there's too many frequencies going on. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked it and um, subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials and um, guitar videos like this one. Thanks for watching.